go here. Takes her up and we're away. Nielsen's made a smashing start on the inside. Anders Thompson now gets across from the outside. Oh, is that outside going to work? It is! Anders Thompson, fabulous stuff from him, trusted the bike, didn't clamp down to the inside, and a bike fired him to the front. Janowski now coming through into third place with Ty Wuffenden trying to... Oh, oh Wuffenden's out of shape. Oh, he's all over the place, and Janowski's able to squeeze back up the inside of Wuffenden. But I tell you what, Anders Thompson, for the first time tonight, we've seen a rider get a little bit of extra grip off the mid-track part, and he got himself to the front, he's going to win a race. Yeah, we're seeing one or two riders now letting the uh, bike run around the first turn from gate four. It's just beginning to work now as Anders Thompson got the better of Kim Nielsen on the opening lap. You can see once again, look how tight Magic Janoski's riding. He's riding through gate two. That is not the fastest way around the track, and that is uh, having no confidence in the speed you've got under you. No, he's struggling there, and Ty Wuffenden, second time of asking. Failing to score, but for Anders Thompson, a return to form. Three nights on, tapes up, they roar to the first corner. What a start from Dudek! Sensational start from him, that's more like it. Fires himself to the front, Lingwood lifting, that's leaving himself very vulnerable for Mickelson. Mickelson couldn't make a stick, but once again, Lingwood all over the place. What on earth have they done to that bike? Oh, they've got something fierce under Freddie Lingwood. Oh. They've decided to, uh, to make some big changes, I feel, after his first ride, and that is a difficult bike to ride out front. Dudek with an absolutely roaring start from the outside gate. Got there, clear, worked hard all the way to the corner. Surprised Max Rick. He did not expect anybody to be getting across there no. from gate one. Smashing start from uh, Patrick Dudek then. He's out in front, Max Frick is coming on strong. Just a few little signs of some bumps and lumps and right on the inside. But Dudek knows how to cope with them. He won here last year when it was really bumpy and challenging. And he's a return to form here. Mickelson and Lingwin having a real dice for third place. Mickelson might get there, but Dudek, yep, he wins the race. And Mickelson with a late, late last. This rider's in top form, here we go. Long delay. Martin Vasilik's made an oh, absolutely cracking. spectacular oh, start, but he's hit a rut. Oh, he's out of shape and he's down. He's down. All of a sudden, <coughs> with five points, he's going to fail to score here. He will be excluded as yeah, a consequence. Under pressure after such a fantastic start, but coming from gate four, his wheels are in line as he goes across the corner, and uh, bike just jumps straight across. But I would argue, when we watch this again, he moved his body weight back too quickly. Yeah, very possibly it is the way that he rides. He is there. He sort of yeah, sits he's back, not forward straight. on the bike. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's the rut I think that we saw Robert Lambert hit on the entry to the to the turn earlier in the uh, meeting. Yeah, there, there. You're right. He's a little bit upright. That is sort of that is his style to ride like that. But uh, definitely caught out by a rut on the inside there. Yeah. Just needed to keep himself forward, but very, very tough. Easy sitting here to suggest that, but nonetheless, disappointing. Yeah. Green lights on, we're underway, and Dudek made a good jump. Certainly got to the first corner in front. Bewley's going roaring around the outside. Can he get his wheels in line now? Just about gets the better of Dor down the back straight. Allows the bike to run deep into oh, turns three and four. Lap. Wow, that's special from Dan Bewley. Does he like going around the outside? Yes, he does. He loves going fast and he generated plenty of speed. You won't see which way he goes now. He is clearing off out in front. Dudek in second place. Doyle coming on strong in third place with Anders Thompson out the back. But Dan Bewley stamping his authority. On heat 15. All tightening up at the back with Dudek, Doyle and Thompson. Not a lot between them as Doyle looks up the inside. Can't quite make the move. But uh, Dan Bewley moves himself onto eight points, two race wins. Yeah. That's taking the pressure off him. Indeed it is. Bewley going out. Great guns out in front. A good tussle for second place with Dudek. Hanging on to second place under pressure early on from Jason Doyle. But the race is all about a stunning move early on in it from Dan Bewley and then shows a clean pair of heels to the opposition. Green lights on, tapes are up and we're underway. 
It's a level break. Oh, Smartly Lambert's gets there. Get oh, out. look at oh. Doyle trotting up the inside. Here comes, Here comes Lambert. Lambert. Lambert around the outside, neck and neck, with the championship leader. Smartly there, long tracking it down the back straight. Here comes Doyle now. And Doyle coming through in his second place. What a move from the Australian. Right place there. What an opportunist move there. He's on the warning. Oh, Smartly nearly off the bike. It's all going on here in semi final number one. I tell you what, Robert Lambert must wonder what he's got to do. There was just so much going on in that opening lap. I'll tell you what, Thompson hasn't given up. He's riding wider than the two in front of him. They're riding a little bit defensive. Don't want anybody up the inside, but look at Thompson. He's coming on strong. Round the outside, Anders Thompson, they're into the final lap now. Uh, Smart League looks set, it, set for the final for sure. Jason Doyle there hanging on by the skin of his teeth. Anders Thompson now clouting the fence down the back straight. One last blast from the Danish rider. Smart League's through, and so is Doyle. What a semi final that is. Number two in Tetero. Oh my goodness, drama. Oh, oh no. Can you believe this? Oh, he's going to be, uh, he's going to run out of time. Can you believe this? Unbelievable. Has that bike just given up the ghost? I don't know. He's trying to start it. Makes him think that he can actually stall these bikes if you're not concentrating, but seems like that may be the case. Oh, well, that's a huge blow for Dan Bewley. Got a feel for him there. Uh, he's best man on track towards the end of the meeting. Oh, such a Once disappointment again. for Dan Bewley. Ridden so well tonight. Did he just stall the bike? Because it's running now. I'm not quite sure what happened there. We didn't see it, did we, actually, the moment the bike stopped. But clearly, well, it was running and, it, and he rode it ticket, back. I'd ask for my money back, not being able to see Dan Bewley now. Oh, that's so disappointing. Desperate. We were just talking about him making finals, but... Uh, um, down to three now, semi-final number two. Tapes are up and we're underway. Jack Smashing Holder. start from Jack Holder on the outside. Fars himself to the inside in the first corner. Oh, Leo Madsen now, Kim Nielsen up the inside of Leo Madsen, forcing his way through into second place. Smart move from Kim Nielsen, set for his first ever final. It's his first semi-final, will he now? make that into a final. What a night that will be for him. But for Jack Holder, this is exactly what he needed to do. It's tough out there now. Track conditions have deteriorated. Kim Nielsen coming on really strong in second place. Liam Madsen in third. But for Holder, he looks like a finalist to me. Yeah, he certainly does. I tell you what, Liam Madsen was just far too cautious the way he was riding the bike on the opening lap. And uh, Kim Nielsen taking full advantage of that, makes his first semi-final tonight, makes his first race win tonight. Looks like he's going to make his first final. Fantastic. What? Yeah, fantastic achievement for, for Jack Holder. The consistency at Grand Prix is staggering. Fabulous performance from him. He's through to another final. Should have won in the Daladovi, but he's made three consecutive finals now. Hey. Green lights on and we're underway. Doyle made a good start, but Smarslick's made a better one. Smarslick round the inside, holds it there. Doyle through into second place. Kim Nielsen holding Jack Holder. No, he can't. Holder coming through into third place. Smarslick out in front. Just got to keep it all together. If he can, he's going to win another Grand Prix. He won the opening round in Croatia. Hasn't managed to win since then, but he's looking good for his second win of the season now. Bartos Smarslick. Yeah, Smarslick faultless towards the end of this meeting. Absolutely fantastic stuff from him. Jason Doyle, after a difficult night last time out in Prague, will be very happy with second place. This race seems to be settling down. And uh, Jack Holder, Mr. Consistent, he's there again. Another podium if he can stay in third place. Indeed he will. They've stretched out. It's not the most exciting Ooh, final. A little bit of a twitch there from Bartos Smarzlik on the final lap. <laughs> Through the final corner for the final time here in Tetro. Bartos Smarzlik stretches the lead once again. Oh, fabulous stuff from him. Terrific uh, return to form for Jason Doyle in second place. And Mr. Consistent certainly is Jack Holder. Back in third place. Delight for Bartos Smarzlik. Many congratulations to the world champion. Certainly a touch of relief as well, I would suggest. And uh, they uh, are clearly and rightly delighted with that. Didn't win here last year, finished second, but this time around picks up the win. And uh, the first time that he actually wins here in Germany, so clearly, look at that. 
it means the world to him. Yeah, third Polish winner on the trot here in uh, Germany.